Well, it's time for the June 2016 loot crate, and this crate I'm really excited about. This crate I'm really excited about. It is the June 2016 uh, crate, and the theme is dystopia. So it should be some Matrix, uh, some Fallout, some RoboCop, some Terminator, uh, Judgment Day stuff, things like that. So uh, let's dig in and see what we got. All right, let you guys get the first look into this crate. Whoop! I think I see something Fallout and something Matrix there. Per the normal, first thing we'll pull out is the shirt. Uh, all every monthly loot crate for the regular crates this uh, year comes with a shirt and so as we pull the shirt out it is Robocop wow okay Alex Murphy is Robocop and so I like that shirt it's probably my favorite part of the loot crate every month is the shirts I really like it next thing I see in the crate is a matrix item and this is a matrix puzzle, uh, 17 plus on the age. So uh, yeah, it's, I, I don't know why it's 17 plus, it's a puzzle, seriously. Um, but it is a 300 piece puzzle in this box. Uh, it's got a little QR code on the back and everything, you know, and it says uh, it's 11 inches by 14 inches. And so that tells me uh, these pieces must be kind of small. Let me look and see. So, here they are, this big ball, and so the fact that my fingernail takes up over half of a piece tells me it's, a, it's a, not any big pieces of the puzzle, it's a regular size like puzzle, it's not all that large when it comes to, you know, square or whatever, it's a pretty, pretty big puzzle, so, wow, <laughs> the next thing up is actually a Bioshock key blank and so that's really cool like if you wanted a Bioshock uh, key for your house or uh, uh, your your shed or something like that and this key blank would fit that you've got a Bioshock key blank that's pretty neat that's different than what uh, I, some of the other things that usually come in loot crates and I like that hmm <laughs> I love this next item it uh, is a Dorbs I guess that's what it would be Dorbs but it is a Fallout collectible, all right? And so that is uh, a vinyl collectible, and it's, it's as you can see, it's uh, from Fallout. It's a power armor, and it looks like, uh, you know, cool. But then I kind of looked in there, and I don't know if I see any kind of legs or anything on him. So, and he's kind of round. And so it looks really awesome, but it kind of reminds me of uh, that guy from... Uh, can't even think of the name of that movie, but it was uh, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. That's it. Reminds me of that big white uh, dude on Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. So I thought that was pretty funny when I saw that. Um, the next one is, it's really cool, but it's a little um, different. It is a Terminator 2. Uh, it's a metal print. You know, sometimes you get the uh, prints from movies or, or shows or something like that. Well, this is a metal print. And so, of course, it's it's the Terminator head from Terminator 2, the T2 or whatever, you know, right there. Uh, so that's pretty cool. It doesn't have a stand or anything, so I don't really know how you would show that off. Uh, maybe you would glue some magnets on the back and put it on your refrigerator. And then for the pin, uh, the loop pin, it is an, actually an awesome bomb. And so that kind of reminds me of uh, the little mini bombs or mini nukes from Fallout. So that's what I'm going to say this is from. I don't actually know if it is. I'll find out here in just a second when I read the book. But that's, that's what it kind of reminds of. So this is June 2016 Dystopia pin. So last thing, obviously, is your magazine. So for the Dystopia, it'll show you everything. It came in the crate, blah, 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 blah. A lot of good articles. I really actually do like these things. I read them sometimes. And hey, we love you. Okay, so usually I turn the box inside out, and that's what I'm doing because it is this awesome picture from Fallout 4, which of course is one of my all-time favorite games. And so here's Dog Meat, 
And so that's cool when dog meat's looking, I guess, to you or somebody else that's walking inside. But as I start to turn it inside out, dog meat gets cut off. I don't care much for that, but I'm gonna finish it anyway. Okay, so here's the box inside out. You've got your power armor, and this is the gas station just right down the road, the Red Rocket gas station or whatever. There's dog meat getting cut off, and then the back is a pavement. You know, it's leading up to that. And then, obviously, welcome to the dystopia. So a quick review of the items real quick. Uh, first, you had the box, obviously, was Fallout 4 themed. It was awesome. Then you had the 300-piece Matrix puzzle uh, that I may try to put together one day. I, I, I love puzzles. I just don't care that much for putting them together. You had the amazing Dorb's Fallout uh, vinyl figure of the Power Armor. You had the Bioshock key blank, which was really unique and really neat. You had the Terminator 2 uh, metal tin thingamadooger. You had the magazine and your loot pin with the mini nuke from Fallout 4. And last but definitely not least, you had the amazing Robocop t-shirt. Looks awesome. Definitely going to wear it. Uh, love my loot crate. Uh, check out the links down below if you want to get your own loot crate. You can uh, follow me, subscribe to me here on in, uh, uh, on YouTube, and then hit that thumbs up and comment down below. Let me know what you think. Uh, let me know if I can change anything. Thank you and see you soon.